Okay, so let's see if we can figure out the midpoint between these two points right here. All right, so we have the x-axis and the y-axis and these two points. So we have one, four right here and three, six right here. And the midpoint is the point that is uh, midway between these two points. Now there is a formula called the midpoint formula that uh, tells us uh, the answer to this question. But uh, even if you don't know this formula, you could still figure this out using some common sense and logic. All right, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 1, 5, B is 4, 10, C is 2, 2, and D is 2, 5. All right, now if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second, then I'm going to fully explain the midpoint formula and how to solve this problem. This is actually very easy. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer is D, which is 2, 5. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you're definitely going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus, and if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this might be easy for you, but uh, I really don't know what's going on. Well, again, this is not that hard. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, so what is the midpoint formula? Well, again, it's the midpoint. It's a formula that tells us the midpoint between two points. Okay, so we have one point here and another point here. Now, a point, what we're talking about is an xy point. Now, an xy point is something we can plot on the xy axis. This is also called a uh, coordinate, right? That's another word for it, or an ordered pair because we have a pair of numbers and they have a specific order. Uh, the first is X and the second is Y. So you need to know all those uh, terms, ordered pair, coordinate, or point. They're basically uh, synonymous. But the midpoint formula is a formula that tells us the point that's in between or midway between these two uh, points. Let's go ahead and look at these points graphically and we'll, better, um, we'll get a better sense of what the midpoint formula is asking us. All right, so here's a little basic XY plane. So let's say this is 1, 4. That's basically where uh, the point 1, 4 is at. And then if this is 1, 4, this would be the point 3, 6. So we're looking for a point that's midway. So in other words, if I kind of look at the distance between these two points, I'm like, okay, I need a point. What's the point that's midway? Well, it would be something like right here, right? This this uh, a location, right? This is midway between these two points. So we're looking for the specific x, y uh, uh, point that's midway between uh, 1, 4, and 3, 6. Okay, so that's what the midpoint formula tells us. Now, how we do this is so, so easy, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how actually, um, actually how we do this. But I'm going to just tell you the answer right now before I show you the formula. All we're, going to, all, all, all we're going to do, okay, to find that specific midpoint formula there is you literally just take the averages of the x's, okay? If I average the x's right here, these are the x coordinates, right? Remember, again, we're dealing with x y coordinate pairs. If we average the x's, that's going to be the x coordinate for our midpoint. And if we average the y's, that's going to be the y coordinate for the midpoint. It's so, so easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the formula because the formula looks a little bit scarier than, uh, you know, actually how easy this is, right? So this is the midpoint formula. And here we have two uh, points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So this is just an algebraic notation to delineate, hey, we have one point here and another point here, two different points, because we don't, you know, we're not trying to find the midpoint of the same point, right? So here's the point and a, here's another point. You know, we're trying to find a point, uh, trying to find the midpoint of two s different points. So in algebra, we can kind of, uh, you know, show that two points are uniquely different by using these little ones and twos. These are called subscripts, but this X value right here is different than this X value. That's all this means. So this is one point and another point. So again, the midpoint here is simply going to be the average of these respective uh, coordinates. Okay. So in other words, let's go ahead and uh, see this in action right here. So this is the midpoint formula. So given these two points, the midpoint would be an xy point. Now, this is an actual xy point. The x coordinate is the average of the x's. So how do we find an average? Well, we just take this point, add 
um, added to this point and divided by two, right? We have two uh, pieces of information. So it's x1 plus x2 divided by two. And then uh, to find the y coordinate of the midpoint, we're simply going to add up the y's and divide it by two. But effectively, you're just finding the average, okay? And when we do this, we will uh, get the midpoint or whatever two points we're looking at. All right, so let's go ahead and solve this problem now. So here's our uh, coordinate one, our coordinates one, four, and three, six. So we're going to find the average. So it's going to be the average of one and three, and then the average of four and six. So here's the formula. Let's go ahead and uh, follow the formula. So we're going to go ahead and add the x's up first. So what would be one plus three? And we're going to divide that by 2, and then we're going to um, add up the y's. That will be 4 plus 6 and divided by 2. So let's go ahead and do this here. So 1 plus 3 is what? That's 4. And we'll do a little mental math. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint for our x, y uh, coordinate here is going to be, our x coordinate is going to be 2. And then here, our y is going to be 4 plus 6 is what? 10. 10 divided by 2 is five so there you go there is the midpoint two five so going back up here to our graph you can kind of see this right here well oh boy let me kind of erase this because this is uh very confusing right now all right so let's kind of take the confusion off so two five is this point right here and let's just see if that makes sense well if this is one right there and this is three right there. Look, two is right there in, uh, in, in the middle. Okay, that definitely makes sense. And then if this is four and here is six, well, this would be five. So the two, uh, point two five certainly seems to be the midpoint between these two points, one, four, and three, six. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.